Good evening. Topping the news, life on other planets is becoming more and more likely this week, as reports and footage of UFO sightings from all over the world have been flooding the newsroom. After examining photographs and video, the experts confirm it is the most convincing footage they've seen in 60 years. Here's what eyewitnesses had to say. It's still hard for me to talk about this. I was actually abducted by the UFO. I was inside. The aliens were sitting around watching YouTube, of all things, drinking uh, blue liquid, and the female aliens were off to the side breastfeeding. Me? Seen a UFO? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God, it was like totally crazy. I'm just chilling here with my boys, right? And we see this huge light. And it, it was like right behind me, right, like right, right there. If you look behind me, there's a power plant. And I think it was trying to steal the power. And then when it was done doing that, it came whoo, right to there. And next thing I know, whoo, big beam of light just came down over me. And I, I really don't remember anything after that. It happened right here in Area 51. I was camping, I was 18 years old that night. Someone got into the tent and forcibly raped me. It was a female alien. Her name was Molina. It turns out we got married a year later and we got two sons, Pedro and Jose. And I guess it worked out for the best. What? Oh, you mean alien alien. No, she was an illegal alien. Mm-mm. Never seen one. I was in bed and I woke up in space, on a spaceship, and I was in space because nobody heard me scream where these two little furry alien creatures probed me where no man should be probed. You know what I mean? Yeah, in the ass. And then to add insult to injury, they turned me from a six foot eight man into a dwarf. No, this is not the first time I've been abducted. They, there was this bright light and my clock, my clock was spinning and they took a section of my brain. And, and my friend Jeff was there as well. Jeff? No, Jeff's not back yet. I have seen the UFO. It just kidnapped my neighbor and I have to find refuge because I'm probably going to be next. <laughs> then suddenly one of the aliens uh, stood up and he lasered me with this thing that that's on my forehead right now it's like some kind of a tattoo or something and then they let me go it's very traumatizing oh i saw it i done saw it i was putting the little baby to bed and i heard something zooming over my house i ran upstairs i looked out the window didn't you know it i saw a little saucer flying over the trees I'm just scared of those anal probes. Yes, they abduct me every year. This is my seventh time. Excuse me, there's been reports of UFOs and aliens. Have you seen anything at all? My wife's just throwing a plate on me. Does that count? Flying saucer. Oh dear. You bet your sweet potato pie I believe in those space critters. Yeah, those little bastards picked me up right here in my own backyard. Yeah, I used to weigh nine or seven pounds. Now look at me. I swear to God those little bastards probed me. I think the little buggers even got me impregnated. I'm not one of those wackos. Mm-mm. Those people are crazy. You know, I think this is all make-believe. Yeah. <laughs> UFOs, come on. It's so ridiculous. Not possible. Hang on. What's that thing in the sky? Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but I, I got this lump right here, if you can see that, and it, and it wiggles and it, and it moves around, and I think there's something inside of there, and I should really, you know, I should really get that, I gotta go, I gotta go.
This is Alice, my wife. We met the Rod Spaces and we just fell in love, didn't we? And we got married and uh, we've been married ever since for uh, 11 years now. What do my friends think? Well, I don't have any friends as such, do I really? I, I love it though. I can't wait to go back next year. <laughs> Is this going to be on TV? Police have released these sketches of the aliens. A $10,000 reward has been issued for their capture. Anyone with information regarding their whereabouts can call the DVS Newsroom at 555-4439. I'm Callie Atwater, just a click away from the news of the day. You know we got to it, you know. You know you know. We got to go.